Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve these two given cubic equations by factoring. So let's go ahead and get started with the very first cubic equation. Let's look at this first two terms over here. As you can see, we can easily factor out x squared. So I'm going to go ahead and factor out x squared. And in the parentheses, we can write x minus 4. Let's move on to our next second pair over here. We can see that negative 9 could be factored out. So we are left with x minus 4 in the second parentheses. And this is equal to 0. Now, as you can see that these two factors are same we can factor them out once again so x minus 4 comes outside and we are left with x square minus 9 which is equal to 0 and now let's focus on x square minus 9 part i have just copied it down on the right hand side over here and i'm going to manipulate it this one a little bit x square and 9 could be written as 3 square and this gives us a difference of 2 squares so therefore we are going to use this formula a square minus b square equal to a minus b times a plus b so this x square minus 3 squared could be written as x minus 3 times x plus 3 and now let's move on to this side x minus 4 times x square minus 9 as you can see that we have factored them out so that turns out to be x minus 3 times x plus 3 which is equal to zero and as we can see that we have these three factors equal to zero we can separate them we can split them so i can write x minus four equal to zero x minus three equal to zero and likewise x plus three equal to zero that means x equal to positive four is going to be one of the solutions x equal to positive 3 is another one and finally x equal to negative 3 is our another solution and here is our complete solution set and that is our answer and here is our next example and we are going to solve this cube equation by factoring as well once again we are going to focus on the these first two terms as you can see that 4x squared could be easily factored out isn't it so i am going to write down 4x square over here and inside the parentheses we are going to have 3x plus 2 so far so good and let's move on to our next pair over here and we can see that negative 1 could be factored out once we factor that one out we are ended up with 3x plus 2 and this whole thing equal to 0 now let's once again look at this 3x plus 2 these both factors are in common we can factor them out as well once again so 3x plus 2 I have brought it outside and in parentheses we are left with 4x square minus 1 and which is equal to 0. And now let's focus on this factor 4x square minus 1 part only where I have just copied it down over here on the right hand side. Let's manipulate this one a little bit. 4x squared could be written as 2x and then power 2, isn't it? And then 1 could be written as minus 1 square. So that gives us a difference of 2 
squares. So therefore we are going to use this formula a square minus b square could be written as the product a minus b times a plus b. Let's go ahead and write it this one as 2x minus 1 and the second factor is going to be a 2x plus 1. So once again let's move on on the left hand side 3x plus 2 is the first factor and as you can see 4x square minus 1 we have just factored these ones over here 2x minus 1 times 2x plus 1 I am going to write them down over here 2x minus 1 times 2x plus 1 which is equal to 0. And as we can see that we have these three factors equal to zero, so we can easily separate them. Let's go ahead and split them so we can write 3x plus 2 equal to zero, 2x minus 1 equal to zero, and finally 2x plus 1 equal to zero. We just separated them. Now let's solve for x. If I move this 2 on the other side, that becomes 3x equal to negative 2. If I divide both sides by 3, x is going to give us negative 2 third as one of our solutions. Likewise, I'm going to move this negative 1 on the right hand side. So we got 2x equal to positive 1. Let's divide both sides by 2, so x turns out to be 1 over 2 as our second solution. And finally, once again, we are going to move this positive 1 on the other side becomes negative 1. And now we are going to divide both sides by 2, so x equal to negative 1 over 2 as our another solution and here is our final solution as you can see and that is our answer as well thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye